Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial I am going to show you a real simple trick to find the factors of a quadratic equation in seconds. Let's look at this very first example. We want to find the factors of this given quadratic expression and we will be using FLM trick. What FLM means the first coefficient plus the last coefficient must be equal to the middle one. As we can see in our example the first coefficient is 6 and the last coefficient is positive 1. 6 plus 1 always give you 7 isn't it? Then our factors must always look like the first number plus and the last number times x plus 1 in the second parentheses. So we're going to put it down. We have a two parentheses. Okay, you put down two. So first you put down six number, number six, the first one, and the last number is positive one. And always in the second parentheses, you always put x plus one. And the last step is you must put x next to this first number. And that is your answer. These are your factors. And lastly, one piece of caution. Make sure that your this trick is only going to work if the first coefficient plus the last coefficient equal to the middle coefficient. Let's look at this example. Our first number is 2. Our last number is positive 5. And if you add them, you're going to get for sure positive 7. So we put down two parentheses. As I told you, the first number is 2 and the second number is positive 5, right? up here in second parentheses always x plus 1. The next step is you put x next to this first number and that is your answer. Let's look at this example. Our first number is 6 and the last number is negative 1. When you add them for sure you get positive 5. That means we can do we can factor them out. So first I want you to put down 6 right up here. Second last number is negative 1 and here always x plus 1 and your next step is put x right up here and that is your answer. Let's look at this example now. The first number is 5, the last number is negative 8. When you add them for sure you get negative 3 that means we're gonna come up with these factors over here. So first number is 5, last one is negative 8 and always in the second parenthesis is gonna be x plus 1. The next step is you put x next to this one and these are your factors. And in this example our first number is 1 the last number is positive 1. 1 plus 1 always give you positive 2. So that means our factor is going to be first always put down x plus 1 in the second parentheses here. Your first number is 1. The last number is positive 1. And your, you always put x next to this first number and these are your facts. How about in this example the first number is 15 the last one is negative 2 when you add them it's supposed to give you positive 13 isn't it? So that means we have two factors those are simply the last one is going to be always x plus 1 here 15 the first number is going to be right up here the last is going to be negative 2 right up here and you always put x next to it and that's your factors. How about in this example? The first number is 25, last number is positive 9. When you add them it's supposed to be positive 34. So that means we have two factors. So once again x plus 1 is always going to be in the second factor and here your 25 the first number the last number is positive 9 right up here and you just put x next to the first number and that is your factors. And in finally this example the first number is 11 
the last number is negative 17 when you add them it's supposed to give you negative 7 so that means our factor is going to be once again the last parenthesis this is going to be x plus 1 in the last and here is going to be 11 in the first and negative 17 right up here first number last number and the next thing is you just put down x right up here so your complete answer is going to be 11x minus 17 times x plus 1 thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for four exciting videos